Hey guys, I'm Karim Binani from MobiScribe and in this video I'm going to talk about some really cool things that you can do with your Galaxy Note 8 using the S Pen. So let's get right into it. Now when you get a WhatsApp message or an SMS, you cannot choose a specific word, that is you can't highlight a specific word, you gotta copy the entire thing. But using the S Pen, just tap on the button on the S Pen and then highlight right over the word or number of words that you want to highlight. So that's pretty good, right? And then you can just copy it or share it or use a dictionary to see what that word means directly. Next is you can actually pin notes to your always on display and not your lock screen. So whatever you write, so for example, if your screen is locked and then you put the uh, pull the S Pen out, you can start taking notes immediately. So whether it's, you know, whatever you want to write, things to do, a phone number, an email address or anything. And once you're done, you've got to tap that pin icon on the top left side. Now when you do that, it actually is an always on note on your on your display. So when your phone's locked, this is what you see on your display. And I think that's pretty cool. Now, if you press the button on the S Pen, it actually becomes a marker. So, you know, you can start selecting stuff. So for example, I press the button and then I, you know, draw this rectangle or the square or whatever. And I can continue to do that on items that I want to select. So, and I can do this, you know, across apps. So I can apply this functionality across my calendar, SMS, email, and so on. Now, obviously you do have the air view or the hover option. So, you know, if you wanna see something in a more detailed fashion, you could just hover your S Pen. It does work across only a couple of apps which are natively built into the Galaxy Note 8. And for example, you know, if, I, if I'm in my gallery, I can directly edit, share, or delete an image from the S Pen hovering. And this applies to my calendar as well. I could just, if I don't see something in full, I hover over it and I can just see it without touching the, the display at all with the S Pen. And if I want to make an input in the calendar, so you know, I could actually just write it down and it automatically converts my handwriting into digital text. So let's say I want to go for a launch event on September 24th. That's it, it, it recognizes and it inputs it right at the top. And an extension of this feature is that you can preview web links before opening them. So you can just hover the S Pen over the link and it's gonna show you the preview of what you are going to see when that link was to be opened. Now, something that's really cool with the Galaxy Note 8 and the S Pen is the Bixby Vision, okay? And this is really magical. I mean, you could just highlight your uh, text and, you know, just hover your S Pen. It's gonna highlight a couple of text. You could move around this box to select more text and you can just extract text right from it. So just tap extract and all of the text is available to you. And now it's up to you whether you want to copy the entire text or again, you can use the S Pen button, highlight a specific sentence or a set of keywords, and then you get options to cut, copy, share, or you know look up the, the word meaning through a dictionary and so on and so forth. Again, something interesting is the translate option and the way it works is brilliant actually. So go ahead and you know click on translate. Now, just hover over the word that you don't know or you want translation off. And it's gonna tell you directly right there you could also change this to entire paragraph. So just tap on that T over there and it converts into a paragraph mode and hover over the paragraph, you're going to see the entire meaning of what that paragraph was saying. So for people who travel a lot to foreign countries, uh, there you go. Now, the Galaxy Note 8 ships with Samsung Notes, which is not bad actually, it's quite nice but I still prefer the old S Note. So go ahead in the Galaxy uh, App Store or the Play Store and you can download S Note. It gives you a lot more features than Samsung Notes does. So it's Samsung Notes plus more features. First of all, like, you know, you can also change the background color. You could add grids that you can't do in the regular Samsung Notes app. You can uh, create custom pens that you would have stored, you know, their widths, their colors. You can make shapes. So, you know, you just draw the shapes and it automatically identifies it as a shape and then makes it more, what do you call, uh, sane. <laughs> so, yeah, you know, there are a couple of things that you can do. And for example, you can also record your entire sketching experience. Uh, you can change your background settings, as I said. You can add tags, which you can also do with Samsung Notes. But nevertheless, I thought I'll just let you know that S Pen is pretty good. Sorry, S Note is pretty good. And it... Uh, it still is my go-to note-taking application, and it's again by Samsung. So I'm not sure why Samsung Notes came into picture, but this is great. Now, while there are a ton of things that you can do with the Galaxy Note 8 S Pen, 
I just wanted to show some that were a little lesser known, a little hidden, but yeah, there are just a lot of things that you can do with the S Pen and I think those are fairly covered by everyone around you and that you would already know of them. So thank you for watching guys, don't forget to subscribe and leave me uh, a thumbs up.